A Richmond family is grieving the loss of their pet tonight. Gunfire ringing out overnight, killing their beloved Coco and shattering the windows of a car just on the other side of the street. 8 News investigator Carrie O'Brien spoke with the family and investigators. She joins us now live from the scene of the crime. Carrie, the family is. Well, Deanna, Eric, the shooting happened here on Decatur Street near East Lake Lane. Tuesday night, multiple shots were fired, hitting a car and a four year old pit bull named Coco. Now, authorities shared with us photos of the dog's body. We are choosing not to share them with you because they are graphic. But tonight, they just want to find out who did this. Without her, I can't, I couldn't go to sleep in my bed without her because she's the one who warmed me up at nighttime and she's the one who makes me comfortable. A young boy is heartbroken. Somebody opened fire on Decatur Street, killing his dog, Coco. This car hit in the crossfire. TJ Perry heard the gunfire. We just heard a loud gunshot. Bye. Sound is so loud. We thought it was in front of the house. The family found the pit bull dead across the street. They're not sure how she got out of their backyard. Richmond Animal Care and Control arrived to find the area littered with casings from a nine millimeter gun. We believe the dog was shot overnight. There's multiple casings all around where she was, at least 20. RACC Director Christy Chips Peters says it's not clear if the dog was the intended target. RACC frequently gets calls for service on Decatur Street, but has never been called for Coco. And Anyone with information is asked to come forward. Someone knows who did this. And we are told that this is a felony cruelty case. So if the shooter is caught and convicted, they could face up to five years in prison. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to contact RACC. Meantime, RACC advises that you don't leave your pets out overnight and you don't leave them out in the yard for long periods of time. We're live tonight in Richmond. Carrie O'Brien, 8 News.